before we'll start, we'll quickly go through the risk disclaimer. Trading foreign exchange on margin carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Before deciding to trade foreign exchange, you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience, and risk appetite. There is a possibility that you may sustain a loss of some or all of your investment and therefore you should not invest the money you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware of all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. So with that said, we can quickly go through our today's webinar. My name is Edmundas Povelavichus. I'll be your host today. I see most of you probably already know me, so I'll quickly go, go through who I am for those who don't. I'm a senior financial analyst at ATZ Forex and head of ATZ Financial Tools. I'm also an active social entrepreneur and working with uh, multiple professional traders and brokers. So previous week we had um, inflation and growth data for the top developed, uh, developed economies. Basically we had uh, Japan's preliminary GDP, Germany's preliminary GDP, as well as UK's and US uh, consumer price index. So basically inflation. And overall, really, the data was not surprising. Um, nothing spectacular came for the Japan or Germany. Uh, for the UK, we saw the year-on-year -year change of 1.8%, uh, which is not surprising uh, following a vote for Brexit when uh, pound devalued. <clears throat> so. Soon enough, um, the Bank of England, well, the Bank of England is already struggling with the high inflation and uh, as well as um, slow economic growth. This will be an interesting problem for the BOE to, to face. Uh, the biggest surprise was from the US. It could the US CPI beat the expectation along with all the other data that came uh, with it. So really, uh, last week's data supports supports um, the next Fed rate hike. Um, but despite all the good data for the dollar, well, it's likely that fears of more verbal interventions against the expensive dollar uh, from the Trump's administration capped any uh, broad USD rallies. You, as you might probably know, Trump seeks to increase the U.S. exports, and that requires a cheaper, cheaper dollar. So basically, this doesn't go hand in hand with uh, with current Trump's plan. So he will try to lower the dollar in the long term to help it. This week, uh, we will have UK second estimate GDP as well as preliminary business investment on Wednesday. These will be two key data uh, following a vote for Brexit to I uh, for the UK, especially after Friday's uh, subdued retail sales, which came shocking and the pound tumbled against the dollar over a thousand pips in one hour. As well as we have FOMC meeting minutes um, on Wednesday, uh, where basically where we be able to see how likely is the Fed hiking in March. Most investors are looking uh, for a, well, market is already pricing a Fed rate hike in March, and basically FOM, um, Wednesday's FOMC meetings will likely be a confirmation uh, of it. To help us judge the probability. As for other data, um, if you trade Australian dollar on Thursday, we'll have um, Government Louis' speech uh, before the House of Representatives Standing Committee on Economics. And if you are trading Canadian dollar on Friday, we'll have Canada's uh, CPI. Moving on to our technical analysis. We'll be looking into gold, Euro USD, Australian dollar, and New Zealand dollar this uh, for this week's analysis. So with that said, we can quickly switch to our MT4. <clears throat> so 
starting with gold looking from indicators perspective the um, underlying trend remains uh, bearish overall but current developments suggest a bullish correction uh, which is implied by weekly MACD which continues to form form um, bars higher as well as weekly RSI which is following a bearish uh, bearish developments is now in a retracement however um, weekly oscillator warns that this is this ongoing price development that we see here is uh, um, coming near its end since as we know when um, since as we know weekly oscillator is uh, trending above the 80 level and whenever we see a break below the 80 level we can take it as a confirmation of the end of the development from the price perspective we can still see uh, some um, further uh, further bullish moves but we should expect the nearby resistance levels to be increasingly well to act increasing to have an increasing impact on the gold price so moving on to daily time frame we see um, we can still expect the some bullish developments as suggested by all the indicators uh, daily macd is forming bars below the neutral zero level uh, daily oscillator is shift uh, is looking upwards and uh, rsi is also below the neutral 50 level however we can see some um, price divergence with the indicators we see the price forming higher highs while uh, daily RSI is, is sloping downwards. Uh, this just could be a, just a warning sign of a potential, uh, potential correction. And since we, have, uh, <clears throat> since we have weekly oscillator above the 80 level, we should not uh, ignore these warnings. So with that said, we could look for a potential sell uh, opportunities from the first nearby resistance at 1250 level we could possibly take approximately 50 pips as our stop loss and aim back to towards the nearby highs at approximately 1244 as our take profit However, the best risk reward opportunity comes from Fibonacci 100% retracement level. So we could look for um, we could look to enter the market at approximately 1,264, use uh, approximately 70 pips stop loss, and aim back to to 1,250 level which will bring us a one to two risk reward ratio from daily time frame we can see how uh, basically how we noted last week about the um, 1220 level and how it um, acted as a strong support throughout the week basically we had well if we would take this as a rebound here and again um, hopefully basically hopefully you benefited from our previous week's analysis so this concludes gold and moving now to euro usd again looking from top to bottom analysis starting from weekly time frame the um, we have a strong uh, bearish developments these are confirmed by by both 20 100 and 50 and 200 moving averages uh, which are all sloping downwards as well as our indicators uh, weekly stochastic oscillator has crossed below the 80 level and we have um, 
we have weekly MACD bars forming below the neutral zero level, as well as uh, RSI, which is sloping downwards. So basically, we could look again for some uh, further bearish developments. However, last week's doji does indicate some, well, we should consider it as a possible reversal, but however, it's not confirmed yet. We should see a confirmation of a bullish in this week's bullish candle. So for now, we trade what we see and we look so for some further bullish, um, sorry, further bearish targets. Our, next, uh, our first aim should be at Fibonacci 100% which going from daily time frame is just at a nearby um, what well, is the time tested support level as well as resistance and um, from uh, indicators perspective we see that MACD uh, is showing some further uh, further bearish so it came from the recent bullish correction and it seems ready to basically indicate a continuation of the overall bearish trend. Even though we have um, daily oscillator sloping upwards uh, above a 50 level, um, it should we can omit it this time uh, since our weekly oscillator is already below the 80 level. So with that said, we should I want uh, for um, we should expect a retest of Fibonacci 100 percent level at 1.052. However, if we see uh, some price stagnation at that point. This basically could confirm a possible head and shoulders um, formation, uh, one of the harmonic patterns. If you see that uh, this is this here is all inverted head and shoulders, with a confirmed uh, confirm if this will be if this if the right shoulder will be confirmed. Here we see a left shoulder head, the neck. Um, basically the neckline here and um, again if we see price stagnation around 100% level we might see a long-term rebound to to possibly Fibonacci at 38.2% at 1.1 however for now the uh, the trend remains bearish and our targets are at Fibonacci 100%. Our nearby support levels are at um, custom Fibonacci 88% retracement level at 1.061. The second is at Fibonacci 100%. And our third support is at um, near custom Fibonacci 110% just at 1.045 meanwhile our resistance levels are at um, an alignment of Fibonacci 76.4 and uh, daily 20 SMA at 1.07 next resistance level could be taken at an area of 1.075 and our third resistance is at Fibonacci 61.8% at 1.08 from the uh, let's just look at our daily time frame to see how our analysis did last week basically last week we had a strong um, strong bearish trend and since this point, basically our targets were reached with, well, with 3% precision. We were looking for 100%, and now we're looking at the, at the retest of 100% once more. 
moving on to New Zealand dollar US dollar again looking from weekly time frame the trend for the Kiwi is is overall bearish looking from a broad perspective our current development seem to uh, seem to could be taken as a overall correction which is turning to be uh, which is turning to be actually in a shift to bullish uh, bullish trend using linear regression we might we might have something useful here so yes overall we have a, a bearish co correction but however this uh, sorry bullish correction however this bullish correction seems to be a shift in tr that trend back to um, back to uh, bullish now, at the moment we have some fluctuation of MACD at a neutral uh, zero level which indicates some uh, co some consolidation around around these levels which is seems what we really have and um, at the moment we have a confirmation of the end of a near uh, of a of a recent bullish move uh, as our weekly stochastic oscillator has crossed below the 80 level so for the moment the, our targets are uh, bearish and we should look for some uh, bearish price action this week so zooming in on daily time frame we have a confirmation of um, daily uh, daily MACD forming bars if, towards basically a neutral zero level so we have a, quite a strong trend here our uh, daily RSI is also sloping downwards and uh, we have we have a we have a bullish some bullish price developments confirmed by the daily oscillator or uh, the bullish move was capped at Fibonacci 38.2 percent as well as a combination of the daily 20 moving average and for now we can look back towards an alignment of daily 20 SMA and uh, it seems we uh, and sorry weekly 20 SMA and daily 100 SMA at approximately 0 0.71 as as our next targets however it's not worth to note that while the price is below uh, between between um, two SMAs which is called an MA sandwich we might see some uh, fluctuating price development our support levels are at 0 0.17 then second support is at 61.8 percent at 0.715 and our third support level can be taken as the mentioned alignment of both moving averages at 0.713 and this is also where basically where we have um, our daily 50 SMA as for our resistance levels our first resistance is at Fibonacci 50% at 0.720 uh, um, and our second major resistance could be taken at 38.2% at 0 0.725 lastly we could take our third resistance at, Fibonacci, at a custom Fibonacci 10% at 0.735 
this is more or less concludes our uh, QV analysis and switching to our last Australian, Australian dollar US dollar outlook at the moment Australian dollar remains to fluctuate in a broad consolidation level however we have some bullish bias and we have the pair here near the top of the uh, near the top boundary of the consolidation channel we also see um, a, st a price stagnation and overall that can appears to be uh, the price uh, the price rally appears to be topping therefore we might expect some further uh, some bullish development sorry some bearish developments based from indicators perspective this is this can also be confirmed from Fibonacci perspective we have the price rebound from the uh, custom Fibonacci 10% at 07725 and this was indeed where last week we said that we should look uh, to sell uh, Australian dollar US dollar Australian dollar US dollar we took Uh, we took approximately 0.775 as our stop loss, which wasn't um, the price didn't come near it, and it rebounded straight from the 10% level and reached our take profit at 23.6 um, Fibonacci retracement level. I'm still convinced that um, the the rebound is not over yet, and we might see. Um, we might see daily 20 moving average reached this week at uh, 0.762 um, and broader but long-term targets um, with a confirmed um, confirmed rebound from uh, from Fibonacci 10% our long-term targets should be at Fibonacci 61.8% at 1 0.750 and this can be confirmed by diverging price action and our daily indicators basically since since the since the middle of the range price continued to make higher highs however we had our uh, daily uh, daily oscillator forming lower uh, lower highs our daily RSI is as is sloping downwards as well and therefore we we should expect expect some um, expect the price reach or fall towards Fibonacci 61.8 percent in the long term our support levels are at 0 0.612 we can take the 38.2 percent Fibonacci retracement level as our second support level or this can be taken as a area as a whole since it's only approximately 20 pips in range and um, our third support level is at Fibonacci 50 percent at 07554 Meanwhile, our resistance levels, uh, resistance levels all are at 23.6% uh, at 0.767. Our major resistance level is at Fibonacci 10% at 0.7725. And above that, we have uh, Fibonacci 100% retracement level at 7.78. So that concludes today's analysis. If you have any requests for me to look into other pairs, just indicate them in the comment section. Today's webinar was sponsored by ADS Securities in association with A2Z Forex. Thank you everyone for coming. And this and it's time now for a question, a question and answer session.